There we go. All right, so today is November 8th, okay? Katie Schmidt, okay, good. All right, so this one, if I just go straight to this one, logarithms. You cannot solve for x without logarithms. You can guess. I know the answer's got to be 2 point something. Because 10 to the 2 is 100, 10 to the 3rd is 1,000, so 2 point something, right? You can guess and check, guess and check, but it's so much easier to change it to log form, right? So I'd go log of base 10 of 352 is equal to x, right? And then if it's base 10, common log, just about every calculator, including your probably your phone, has base 10, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and just take log, and then on my calculator, if it's invisible, if it's invisible, it's base 10. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's base 10, which is what I have of my 352, and I'll get the answer, okay? 352. Okay. So I should be able to say then, well, because the original question was 10 to the x, so I should be able to go 10 to that power, right? So oh, hold on. 10 to... Come on, calculator. 10 to 2.5, blah, 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 should equal, should equal, should equal. Wow. So we found the exponent, didn't we? So logarithms are exponents. Now, if you don't have a fancy calculator and you're working at home, and I'm, Lauren, I am going to show you what you said, okay. you could take an expression like this one, log base 3, okay, of 100. So it's really, in a sense, 3 to what power equals 100, right? really what it's asking. Well, on your phone, which does not have the base 3, you can just go log of 100 divided by log 3. So if you don't have a fancy calculator, and your fancy calculator won't do any other base but besides base 10, you can just take log of this number divided by log of this number. And then what's the invisible base here? It's 10, which is our common log, which is our calculator. So, and then Lauren, I'm going to show you how the, where the button is, okay? So then I can go, all right, I can go log of 100 divided by log 3, and I get an answer about 4.19, okay? About 4.19, or, or 3 to that power should equal 100, okay? How am I doing? Right? How am I doing? So what I really found, this really, this expression really says, this really says 3 to what power equals 100? What's well, about a 4.19? Now, let's see. I think it's in math. I think it's in math. i got to remember what it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, well, on my calculator, okay, everybody find the math button, see the math button, hit math, go all the way down to the bottom. Keep going. Now, if you don't have this, you have an old calculator, okay? So it should say log base, okay? Log base, 3, 100. Much easier, okay? Anybody not have log base on their calculator? Because I have some old, old calculators on it. It's pretty easy, huh? You were asking a good question. Now, your phone doesn't have to. So, your phone, you'd have to do log of, divided by log, right? Out. What's that? Um, so, if you do uh, mapping, right? Are, since it's a there, you go alpha, press a, you the opposite of the word. Ah, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, so now, example two. What do you think about example two? Find x. You what do you think? You're way ahead of me. I like that. So let's change it to change to log form. Okay. So here's my log form. I'm going to change the log form up here. So I'm going to rewrite it as log base 5 of 80 equals x. And again, you know, we've got my fancy calculus, so I'm going to go straight to um, my log base 5 of 80. And I get an answer of about 2.72, right? x is equal to approximately 2.72. Or, or we have 5 to that power, whoops, clear. 5 to that power had better equal 
80. And it does. Okay, what do you think? Logarithms are not that hard. I mean, we've done much harder things. We have. Okay, now, example three is a little bit more difficult, okay? What we can do is this. We're going to take the log of both sides, just plain old log. And I'll tell you why. We're going to do this. Log of 4 to the x equals log of 3 to the x plus 1, okay? Then we learned a rule on We had this rule on so we learned on Thursday that you can bring the exponent down, right? Mm -hmm. So the reason I did this is because you can't solve for x when it's in the exponent. But if you take the log of both sides, it will bring the exponent down. Now this question is base 10, right? Which is what I can use my calculator for. So I'm going to rewrite this as, oh, I didn't write this very well, but I'll try to make it look better here in a second. So I'm going to rewrite this as, oh, that's a 4 to, that almost looks like, that's a 4 to the x. So I float this down, and I float the exponent down. Because I'm just using the rule, using this rule here that we learned on, there's the assessment. n log base b. It just brings the exponent down. Then, let me go ahead and rewrite this. So I'm going to have a x log of 4 equals x plus 1 log 3. Okay? Well, Log 4 is just a, a number in my calculus, a decimal, but I'm going to change it into a plain old algebra problem. What is log 4? I don't know. Find out. Log 4 is about a 0.6. Okay, so I'm going to have x times 0.6 equals, what is log of 3? I don't know. Log 3, about 0.477. Okay, 0.477x plus 1. Now it's decimals. Oh well. Oh well, right? It's decimals, but oh well, I can deal with it, right? Go ahead and distribute. I'll have a 0.6x equals a 0.477x plus a 0.477. Now, I've lost some accuracy in here, but I'm not going to worry about it too much, okay? Uh, minus a 0.477x, right? Get it on both sides. I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second to figure that out. 0.6, subtract 0.477. Run out of room, I'll put it up here. I'll have a 0.123x equals a 0.477, right? Then we'll just divide. So now it's just algebra. Divide. Divide by 0.123, so I'm going to go 0.477. Divided by 0.123, and I get an answer of about, about a 3.878. And I usually go to the nearest thousands on logs. Um, accuracy actually makes a big difference. Anytime you're doing exponentials, anytime you're doing exponentials, accuracy counts. It really does. Accuracy counts a lot. Okay, how am I doing? Okay, all right, turn the page. All right, example five. So if I change this one to exponential, let's change it from exponential to log, to log form. I'm going to write log base e of 12 equals x. Okay, just change it to from exponential form to log form. Now log base e is a special log, isn't it? It's natural log. So I'll rewrite this as ln, or natural log of 12, is equal to x. And I'll just use my calculator. Ln on the calculator. Ln's on the calculator, right there, right? Right by the 4, between the 4 and the 7, right? Ln. Oh, and I get about 
2.485 or e to that answer is 12. That's what we were really looking for. Okay, how am I doing? All right, two more problems I'm done. Okay, example four. The population of a town grows exponentially at a continuous rate. Oh, continuous. What number am I going to use? You see this word continuously? I'm going to use that E number, aren't I? You see continuous and you know we're going to use E, okay? At a rate of 1.5% per year, the population of the town in 2020 was 12,455. Find the year when the population is 15,000. Okay, so let's see what we got. So 2020 is like year zero, okay? 2020 is like year zero, okay? I don't want to use 220, 220 because I have no clue what the what the population was in the year zero, right? The very first Christmas, right? So here's my formula. I'm going to go A of T is equal to PE to the RT. Okay, I called it the PERT formula, but it really is beginning amount, right? And then your rate and then your time, okay? So we'll go A of T is equal to our uh, 12,455 E to the point zero one five, um, and to the T power, right? But to the T power, we don't know yet, right? Now, right, so this is exactly, Kai, this is what we wanted to get to. How many years? Solve for T. How many years? So let's set it equal to 15,000. Okay, the so set it equal to 15,000. Okay, well, how many years is it going to take for us to get there, right? So to solve for t, we're just going to solve, but eventually I'm going to have to get rid of this. Get rid of the exponent, you just follow this. Well, let's first divide and divide, right? Divide, divide. Okay, so divide by 12,455. Okay. Okay, and I get an answer of about 1.2, 1.204, blah, 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 e to the 0.015t. I'm going to scoot this over here, okay? I'm going to natural log both sides. So change it to log form, because e, I'm going to write ln of 1.2. 204 blah 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 is going to equal 0.015t. All right. I kind of skipped a step, but what I did is I changed the log form. Log base e of my answer equals my exponent. Okay. But that's natural log. You okay with natural log? Base e, natural log, right? Now I can use my calculator. And again, this time for accuracy, I left my number in there. So I'm just going to natural log of the answer because then I get more accuracy, right? So typing that whole thing, let the calculator do it for us. So I got about a 0 0.1859. I get a 0.1859 blah 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 equals a 0 0.015t and then we'll just divide. To solve for t, let's divide, divide. Thank you, Brittany. 0 0.015, and again, I've got everything in my calculator to help me with the accuracy, 0 0.015. And I get an answer of about 12.4, and that's in terms of years, right? So it would be somewhere in 2032, wouldn't it? So when, what year? It's about, do you want to just, well, you just text him back. <laughs> well, I'm teaching, right? Say, yes, I'll be at the weight room today. So it's about 2032 would be the year, okay? Because we've got 12.4, 2020, which gives me about 2030. Thanks, Brittany. How am I doing? Without all the interruptions? All right. 
Someday Mr. Wolfman's going to get a job. In the meantime, he just has a great life. <laughs> he gets to work out and exercise. And he does work. He does have a job. But Okay, example five. A radioactive substance has a half-life. There's my half-life, right? That's my rate of 12 hours. The lab starts with a sample of four, 400 grams. How long will it take until there's only 10 grams left? So let's set this up. A of T equals our A, our, our let's see, our 1 plus or minus at T over C, okay? Do you remember that formula? Okay. Wolfman, I'll be there. Eric, I'll be there. Wait a minute. We'll get all the kids. I'm going to do my job. <laughs> he loves it. He can't wait. Because when track starts, he gets to be like the distance coach, right? And, you know, so he's, he's ready to go. Okay, cross country just ended, right? Anyway, so uh, beginning amount is 100, 400 grams, half life. That's my base. We're going to put one half in here. Does that make sense? It's going to rate. T, we don't know T, but we know the cycle of time is 12 hours, okay? So that's just half. Yeah, so our, it's really half. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. <laughs> and we could, or we could have used the A of T equals the A B to the T over C. Probably a better form for this one would be that one, right? Yeah. That's your rate. I get a little distracted, right? <laughs> so let's go A of T equals 400, one half T over 12. Okay, there's my equation, and let's use that. Um, 10, grams, 10 grams left, so we'll go 10 equals 400, 1 half to the t over 12. And can we solve for t? Okay. But we will, right? Divide by 400. Am I going too fast? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, clear. 10 divided by 400. I'm going to keep that in my calculator. Okay, 0.25. Equals one half to the t over twelve. Okay, you're gonna have to solve for t. It's in the exponent, so we're gonna have to use a logarithm, right? And you can use your fence calculus. So we're gonna go log base one half. You can do that in my calculus. You can use a base one half. So we'll log base one half. For the oh point, the point. Oh, use point 0.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna rewrite this as. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go log. Base one half of my zero point zero two five equals t over twelve. And these calculus can do that math. All right? And I'm gonna go log base. I'll put point five there. It's easier than one half of point zero two five. Okay, how am I doing? I'm going too fast for me. Okay. Okay, Lauren says Carly, I'm good. Okay, enter. So I get about a 5.32, blah, 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 equals t over 12. Multiply by 12, right? Times it by 12, times it by 12. And I get about 63.8 in terms of hours, right? How's that? OK, so here's our homework, you guys. Um, we can work outside today if you want. Um, I have a coat, gloves, hat, whatever. If you want to stay in here, Brittany will be in here with you, okay? No, I can text her back. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> He's one of my best friends, but come on, Eric. I do have a job. <laughs> okay, so who wants to go outside? Okay, wait, what? Anybody going outside? Let's go. I'm going to go outside. I don't want to get cold. You don't want to get cold? Anybody going out or am I staying in? I'm going to go out. Alright, let's go out. I'm going to go out. I've got my coat. My hat. Well, it's just like to have my hat on. <laughs> So basketball is going to start till next Monday, all right? Is that right? Yep. Shoot, that's kind of when you guys start. Well, I was going to say we'll talk about this. But tonight you can actually go home and get too bored because you're so used to going up. I know, that's always happens to me. Like the first day that you're going to practice the board. I won't have to do my homework yet. I won't have to do my homework yet. And I'll have to eat.
and do my homework. Can you get in the weight room? And it's <laughs> We're going to be in there right after school. We just have stuff in here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what I do. I have, to, I have to fix some stuff for my dogs today. Uh, 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 that was fun. I got to learn how to uh, put a gate on the fence. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. It is hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's just. Uh, it's easier with two people. Oh, sure. I agree with that. Yeah, if you use bricks and blocks to hold it up. Yeah, if you use two people, then you can have one person um, set the bracket, right? Yeah. Hold the bracket where you want it, and move the gate where you want it. Yeah. yeah. Push the bracket where you want, screw it in, there you go. The other way around, you have to move the bracket, adjust it. If you don't like you want, you have to undo the bracket, yeah. move it, redo it. Yeah. But yeah. you learned something cool, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. No, it was pretty fun. Okay, I'm going outside. Right. Sure. Thanks, Brittany. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enhance my clutching plans. Oh, good. Good. Oh, you got to go like this, bro. I'm staying on my shirt. That's not how you do it. You got to go like this much. Oh, someone did this morning. You got to go like this much. You got to go like this much. Yeah, I know. You did announce it. I'm going to here. That one, too. You know? Yeah, like no, a really important like, business deal. Yeah, that's like, like if you're like, when you're like, you know, you're signing off for the house. Yeah. Uh -huh. and like, you just make the deal final. Yeah. Really I can do my homework more productive with you guys. I used to work with her. I don't know. I didn't. She told me. Oh, really? Yeah. What'd she say? She said, I said, hey, you work with the dance hall? She said, yeah, it was eight. You call me the dance hall? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. 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 What's the date of Friday of next week? That'll be um, 
Friday the 19th. Not that I know of. Okay, because if we schedule anything, I can't be there. I think we need to schedule for 8 a.m. Uh, this Wednesday for, with the seniors because did you guys talk to the seniors about January we did we talked about we it at the meeting that. okay do you hear we announce the senior class meeting tomorrow flex my tattoo next week. no we're okay so tomorrow flex there's a senior mandatory senior class meeting for bingo Oh. So every, all the seniors need to go. Okay. Well, it's gonna take the whole day. Well, well, well I was talking day about day uh, the officers day. because we need to start planning the dance. The with the tattoo or the family? Yeah, the family, dance? Yeah, the family yeah. dance. Yeah. Just so I can get like a I think book. they're up to speed. I don't know. I wasn't really talking with That's them as name. much You're as about Olivia and oh, um, Maddie yeah. was because mm -hmm. I was mostly checking in with all the other groups. We had a really productive meeting. Good. I'm going to a football game. Fun. Not as a cheerleader, though. As a spectator. Nice. There's a lot of people who can yeah, run really fast. What are you looking at? Um, I'm putting the school records for track events. Is that good? Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah you you would mess with them, right? Mm -hmm. Marble. Yeah. Yeah. And then after I'm done with that one, bro, I'm going to go to one of the team and get equipment. Right. Yeah, another year. Oh. So, like, I want to try to cover my whole arm. I'm going to try to get my whole arm sleep by the end of the year. I should be going to actually stop quarter. You did solve this. Oh. Yeah. He's not like the best, but I mean, it's not like I'm going to get anything. Like, do a detail. Like, Oh, Carly, did you see? The, did you see this? So they put the soccer and volleyball banners up. And did you see how bad the soccer one looks in comparison to all the other banners? It looks so overly exposed. The, the cheer ones are good. The cheer ones are really good. Yeah. You look great. You did look great. And the volleyball one looks great too, but the soccer, the soccer one. Their individual ones look good, but yeah. the group one is like very overexposed. It's terrible. I feel bad for them. Yeah. Well, we did individual banners, so we get to keep ours. Mm -hmm. It's not going to sit all crumpled up in the athletic storage where everything is on the ground and it's all very dirty. Can I just really steal the, t the, the banner? You probably can. <laughs> Like I don't know what I'll do with it, but I I feel better about one of us having it than it just sitting there. 